Endometrial hyperplasia is usually associated with prolonged estrogenic stimulation with a reduced progestational activity. It is very common among perimenopausal women or it can be associated with an ovulatory cycles. Morphologically, we see proliferation of the endometrial glands with an increased gland to stroma ratio. So in this part of the picture, we can see quite a lot of endometrial glands, some of them associated with dilation and quite small amount of endometrial stroma. Simple endometrial hyperplasia is typically described as having Swiss cheese pattern, meaning that these dilated uh, endometrial glands look like uh, the holes in the Swiss cheese. On the higher magnification, we can see proliferation of these endometrial proliferative type of glands, and uh, the epi is uh, pseudostratified. It has mitotic activity, and it looks like normal um, epithelium in the proliferative type of the endometrial uh, glands. There are no prominent epithelial atypical features, uh, no cribriform structures or back-to-back -back glands which can be sometimes seen in atypical hyperplasia or endometrial intraepithelial neoplasia according to the new nomenclature. So the endometrial hyperplasia can be differentiated into uh, typical and atypical subtypes and here we have the example of typical endometrial hyperplasia associated with hormonal imbalance. Uh, atypical endometrial hyperplasia or EIN, endometrial intraepithelial neoplasia, needs to be excluded because it is pre-malignant, precancerous lesion which can progress to endometrial, endometrial carcinoma. Uh, some of these uh, proliferative endometrial glands can be actually quite uh, dilated, irregular, but no atypical epithelial component is found. In between the endometrial glands we see normal endometrial stroma composed of stromal cells uh, sometimes with uh, dispersed mitotic activity. Endometrial hyperplasia was previously classified uh, as simple or complex but uh, according to the new WHO classification this is uh, not used anymore and the terminology is uh, simplified. Thanks for watching.